take part in my Father's Day special, good people. Check out the short sample. Hello, good people. This is Mr. James. That's right. Here we go. This is the continuity program. This was an eight-day training course, a live training course that was done. And so what I've done was, I've, this is day number one. As you can see, this is day number one. And what I've done was, I've chopped it down to four sections. I took, so I took the one video and I divided it into four so I can digest the information. And I go through the first one, which is 15 minutes, and put on information. And then I go through, the, once I finish that, I make notes on it and implement what I've learned. And then I go through the next 15 minutes, maybe the same day, maybe another day. But the goal is, is not just to watch the videos, but to go inside and say, how can these videos help my online presence, my online business? So this is where we start with our Father's Day special. It's a seven-day access to these videos and each day I'm uploading a new video so this is video number one 60 minutes long and I divide it into four pieces have a great day join in talk to you soon thank you everyone okay hands up who's been to a previous workshop just to get a feel for the room okay hands up who's uh, here for the first ever time okay put your hand up if you've been to a workshop again and then keep your hand up if you've been to two workshops Okay, of the people who've got their hands up, does someone want to volunteer why they've come to one of my previous workshops? <laughs> Is that Daniel? Do you want to um, grab the mic down here for Daniel? First of all, you teach different stuff every time. And um, we, we see that your business is just uh, quite a few steps ahead of what we try to do. So we just come here, uh, take whatever we can and put it in our own business and it makes us money every time. So I would be foolish not to be here. Cool, thank you very much. I also, that. and meeting other guys, it's great to see the same people come again and we build relationships out of that and joint ventures, so definitely a great place to be. Cool, thank you. Dean, would you mind just sharing just for a couple of moments what you learned from the second workshop and any kind of results you might have achieved from that? I know you're looking a bit worse for wear there in the back of the room. <laughs> uh, yeah, well basically I, took, basically I took away, went away and actually I've started my own continuity and my own funnel and everything following on from what you taught last time. Um, it's so now within, you know, just a space of a couple of months doing like five figures online, following, literally swiping what you taught and just making it my own. So what's been the best month so far of the continuity program you built at the last workshop? You want to say? What's been the best month in terms of revenue that you've enjoyed as a result of the, what you learned at the last workshop? Uh, just last month, the second month, it's growing month by month, so it's like 13,500. 13,500. Yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. So the last workshop, we talked about profit maximization. And one of the strategies that I focused on for just one session was how to build a continuity program that could really dramatically increase the profits in your business. And we focused on that for just one session. And because I know that so many people who attended that workshop achieved tremendous and dramatic results as a result of that one session, I decided to dedicate eight sessions to how to set up a continuity program. And during the next two days, we're going to cover eight steps. And each session is going to be a different step. So we're going to start off by really getting an understanding of what continuity is, why it's important for your business, and how you can quickly and easily implement it in your business for dramatic and substantial results. And then as we go through the workshop, we're going to continue by looking at the different constituent components. So we're going to look at how you need to set up your selling system really fast. A lot of people in, the, in this room have seen my different continuity offers, and we've had more than 10 over the last two years. And what a lot of people don't know is that the sales videos that we use in our business probably take me less than two hours to create. In fact, when we did our recent point and click coaching launch, we built a $100,000 per month business that will gross more than one and a half million dollars this year on current trends. And the sales video for that continuity program puts, like, took less than two hours. Less than two hours, and that's not hype. In fact, me and James, um, who's at the back of the room, James is um, my affiliate manager, we actually went for some drinks one day in Jesmond in Newcastle. And James will tell you this story. And we were, just, we were talking about our current continuity program. And we were having a few beers and we were having a good laugh. And we sat down and thought, what if we created a new continuity program that catered to a different segment of our audience? And James works at support desk. I used to work at support desk all the time and now not as much. So I sat down and I said to James, James, on the basis of the conversations that you have on the support desk, on the basis of those conversations, what kind of continuity program do you think we should create? And me and James hammered it out, we got a notepad out, we got a pen and paper, we brainstormed it, and we came up with a plan. And we executed that plan about two weeks later. We sat down, and within five days, we had point and click coaching created, and we generated more than 1,000 members paying $97 a month. Now, hands up who thinks that's the kind of stuff they want to learn about this weekend.
Okay. Now, I should say that's on top of their current continuity program, the gold program, which was also generated as $100,000 per month. Just to give you a little bit of an insight into the kind of mindset I have in my business before I go back to the topic area. Last night, we became aware that we were going to have a microphone problem this morning, and we knew there was going to be a massive issue. We knew we weren't going to have a proper mic. We knew they were running late. We knew that we'd made a mistake, basically, and we hold our hands up as a company. We've made a mistake. But rather than looking at that as this massive problem and getting in a huge panic, what did we do? We just thought, what can we do to fix the problem? What kind of, how can we overcome that hurdle? And that's a really good lesson because when we run our continuity program, we have all kinds of problems that you can't imagine. Hands up who've heard about the recent crackdown from PowerPay in particular in terms of the Visa MasterCard. Yeah, us too. And one of the things you'll learn during this workshop is that we actually got placed on 100% reserve for four weeks. Now, just put it into context, when you consider that our reserve topped $210,000 at one point about a fortnight ago, hands up who thinks that's going to be a quite a stressful situation. <laughs> we had nearly a quarter of a million dollars in reserve with PowerPay. That's a lot of money. Bearing in mind, we're paying our affiliates $30,000 every month as well. That really tested our reserves in our bank. It was a massive problem, but we overcame it, and we had the mindset that no matter what the problem was, we were going to overcome it, we are going to work really hard to do that. James will tell you the story about when we first launched our first continuity program, and we're trying to get our first merchant account. It took us weeks, weeks and weeks. Hands up who's ever had a problem trying to get a merchant account. Painful experience, especially if you're in the UK. What most people would do is just think, oh, you know what, that's just too hard. I can't be bothered with that. It's just too much of an obstacle, and they'll quit. And the kind of problems we've had organizing this workshop have been very, very similar. We've had all kinds of problems that you can't even imagine. But we look at them as opportunities to overcome. So we were talking about continuity programs and how it had a massive and dramatic impact on my business. And me and James sat down in a pub one day, and we brainstormed this new point-and-click coaching program. And I said to James, James, look, what kind of program should we create for our customers? And he told me, he said, look, the most common question on the help desk is how to set up your website, how to register a domain, how to set up your autoresponder. And we realized that our current continuity program, our current gold program, didn't really cater for those needs. So on the back of that conversation, we brainstormed the new continuity program, and then bang, we implemented it really quick. And from start to finish, we had this whole launch organized in five days, and then executed as well. It wasn't a perfect launch by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, we didn't even contact our best affiliates to promote it for us, which obviously isn't ideal. There are affiliates in this room who I know would have promoted it if I contacted them, but we never did. We literally just created this program. We got it out there in the wide world. We then integrated our marketing and developed some evergreen traffic strategies. And very soon, we had 1,000 active members paying us $97 a month. Now, hands up who'd like to learn about those kind of strategies. Okay, excellent. What I want to do now on the screen is just show you some of the results from co implementing continuity in our business. <clears throat> so you can see when I first started lee-mackenside.com, um, August 2007, we were kind of generating initially about seven, eight thousand dollars in monthly revenues. Pretty quickly, we kind of got to about twenty thousand dollars in that kind of ballpark. And then around about March 2009, we introduced our latest continuity program, or what was our latest continuity program, called the Gold Program. Can anyone see a dramatic and sudden increase in their business revenues around about that time? That was September 2009. Can anyone tell me why do you think I introduced another continuity program in November 2009? Anyone just want to shout it out? We don't need the mic, just shout it out. Why would I have done that? Because you're already getting something going. You could use the momentum of it. I was already getting something going. I could use the momentum. And look at the dramatic and substantial results we had when we introduced continuity in our business in September. It was dramatic. So we introduced another continuity program. Hands up if you think our revenues went up as a result of the second continuity program. Hands up if you think they went down. Hands up if you think we might want to introduce another continuity program in the next few months. Hands up if you think we might want to introduce three or four in different markets by the end of this year. Absolutely. What I've learned over the last two years is that selling information products is by far and away the best way to make money online. But if your focus in terms of making money online is selling ebooks for $27 on ClickBank and that's it, then really you're very limited in terms of the upward potential you can achieve with your business. The big breakthrough for me was when I realized that selling $27 ebooks on ClickBank is a really good way to make a part time income, maybe make a full time income, maybe make a few thousand dollars a month. But the massive and substantial breakthrough that I experienced was when I really understood that implementing continuity into my business could triple, quadruple, and multiply my income by a factor of 10 comfortably. And when I started understanding concepts like front end of my business and back end of my business, and when we started more aggressively selling back end items and continuity programs, our business skyrocketed and we never looked back. 
And that's really what I want to share with you during this workshop. So here's what you can expect. During all this, during the two days, we're going to have eight sessions, and each session will be a step. And during this first session, all I want to try and achieve is for you to understand the power of continuity and why you should implement it in your business. And then we're going to go through it sequentially. We're going to look at what you need to do first. How do you need to, what, what, what is it you do first? Then we're going to look at what you do second, and so on and so on. I'm going to show you how we create sales videos in two hours or less, and that's not hype. Hands up who saw my recent 497 offer, uh, my coaching call offer this week that I sent out to my list. Hands up who saw that? Does anyone want to shout out how long you thought it took me to make that sales video? 14 minutes. <laughs> the video was 14 minutes. It took 25 minutes to make the PowerPoint, no joke. It was one take, made the video, click save, upload, write the email, and then my team sorted the rest out. I'm going to show you how you can make sales videos like that. The point and click launch, which has put 1,000 people into the continuity program, we've got a 15-part prospect autoresponder sequence. How long do you think it took me to write that? Any ideas? Two months? A hour. Couple, couple of years? No, an hour and a half. Probably about two and a half hours to write that sequence. I'm not joking. How many people here think we've been pretty prolific with our product development? Put your hand up. Put your hand up if you think we have a lot of products. Yeah, and you can see them all at the desk. And if you speak to James, I'm sure you can buy some as well. <laughs> We make a lot of products and we work fast. And I really want to get that across to you during this workshop. So this session, I want to just you to understand the importance of continuity and why you really need it. And then I'm going to show you how you can implement it fast. And that's the thing. If you've got this kind of crazy mindset where you think to yourself, Do you know what, I really want to succeed online and I'm going to spend a year writing my ebook, and then I'm going to spend six months writing my sales page, then leave. Because you're wasting your time and you're wasting my time. But if you've got the mindset where you're prepared to do things really, really fast and achieve tremendous results, then stay, listen, and take action. Hands up if you agree with that. Everything we do in our business is so quick. Me and James had a great time. We ordered a bacon double cheeseburger. We had two pints of lager, maybe three, and then some. And we mapped out this program, and we implemented it like that. And that's really what I want you guys to be able to do. Let me just tell you about my timeline so you can understand where I've come from. Because I'm aware of that. Most people in the room know who I am, but not everybody. About July 2002, I finished university in Newcastle, in this city. I did a law degree. Um, and what do you think my family wanted me to do with my life? Any ideas? They wanted me to be a lawyer. I think they were disappointed when I went and worked at Enterprise Rent-A-Car instead. <laughs> Very much. My first day, I washed cars. It was fantastic. Anyone guess what I did on my second day? I washed cars. I had a law degree and I washed cars. I had to ring up my granddad and say, Granddad, I know you're really proud that I did a law degree, but today I washed cars. Has anyone ever had that kind of experience? Not good. About August 2002, I decided that washing cars wasn't the career move I wanted. So I started to become an accountant. And I remember lying in bed at night with a careers book thinking, what am I going to do in my life? And I'm not joking. I flicked through this book. I was looking at all these different career options. I was like, oh... Um, doctor, nah, lawyer, definitely not, um, you know, whatever, consultant, blah, blah, blah. And I flicked on accountant. I thought, that's interesting. So I read about it. I thought, you know what, I'm going to be an accountant. Not joking. Opened up my laptop, applied for a job via an agency. They rang me back the next morning, arranged an interview same day. I drove from Newcastle to Crewe same day, had an interview, started the next day. <laughs> How many people think that that was a considered and thoughtful career choice? <laughs> How many people think that I didn't end up being a, an accountant? <laughs> So I drove down, I moved to Chester, and commuted to Crewe. It was a great lifestyle. I got the train every morning from Chester to Crewe. It was fantastic. The train broke down every day. <laughs> I was late every day. My boss said, unless I got to work on time, I would be fired. And I said, I can't, because the train just doesn't come on time. He said, I don't care. He swore at me. So I bought a car. It was a Fiesta, a V-Ridge Fiesta. Have, who's seen a picture of my, my V-Ridge Fiesta in one of my videos? So I bought a Fiesta, about uh, 800 pounds, and I, and I drove to work. That lasted three months. During that three-month spell, I nearly got fired about eight times. <laughs> I nearly quit twice. I went into the office and said, I'm leaving unless you give me a pay rise, and they said goodbye, and that was that. I left there um, December 2002, and in fact, I started there December 2002, and then June 2003, I moved to another co company as a trainee accountant again, because I had it figured out, guys. It was totally figured out. It was in the bag. Accountancy was for me, yeah, but actually it was just that place was crap. I needed to go somewhere else. So I did. I went to work for a company called Tetra Park in Manchester who make the cartons as a trainee accountant. Can anyone guess how long did I stay there for? <laughs> three months. About three months, four months. 
They tried to fire me a few times. I tried to quit a few times, and we eventually went our separate ways. And then went and worked for another accountancy company because it's okay. Because I was born to be an accountant, but actually, that place was no good. I moved to the new accountancy company. Can anyone guess how long it stayed there for? Two. Two months. About two, three, four months, something like that. Every time I moved job, I felt massively self-satisfied. I thought, yeah, I've made it. I remember speaking to my girlfriend at the time, saying, I'm so lucky. I found a career that I love, I feel passionate about. And after about a week, I was bored and I was fed up, and I changed jobs again. Now, hands up, who's had that kind of experience in their life? When I speak to a lot of the people I work with online who are successful marketers, they tell me similar stories. They tell me that they were an entrepreneur, and they went from one job to another job to another job to another job, and they could never make any of it work. Maybe they were good at some of them, or maybe they got fired, but really they just didn't like working for other people. Hands up who just feels like they just don't like working for other people. I'm glad none of my staff at the back put their hand up. <laughs> that would be a problem. Um, I just didn't want to work for other people. I decided that wasn't for me. And I was changing jobs all 